Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News episode 83. So, today's episode I'm going to show you guys a little bit more MDT 2012. Uh, so, I was kind of bored uh, the other day and I started poking around the task sequences and um, like all of us, we normally use the capture or the basic client task sequence. I noticed there was a VHD image task sequence as well as a VHD image server task sequence. Now, for those that don't understand what a VHD is, it's a virtual hard drive and uh, it's pretty cool. It's mostly known for Hyper-V on the Microsoft uh, Server 2008 R2 platform. So I started poking around, I started playing around with that and it's pretty cool. I, I kind of give it some thumbs up but I don't really see me implement, implementing it into my environment at work but I do see it um, implementing it more in a Hyper-V environment um, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, how everything is how you do it and how it looks so real basic you know you can go to the task sequence root folder right click create a new task sequence give it a name I'm just gonna write gibberish for now go to next now when you go to select template like I said before uh, a lot of us use the SIP prep and capture or the standard client task sequence those are the basic um, the basic two that we IT normally use a lot now I, I noticed there's a bunch of them but what I noticed was the deploy VHD client task sequence and deploy VHD server task sequence now I only test out the client task sequence I haven't tested out the server task sequence but I did create a task sequence for it and hopefully in a future reference video I probably show you guys what the server task sequence for the VHD does so I picked this once you pick this it gives you a rundown like the basic stuff that you would normally do when you deploy an image um, and then you do it uh, add your admin OS settings progress confirm it and that's it now to keep this video real short I, I already created a virtual machine and uh, I'm gonna go inside my image task sequence and when you go to the task sequence properties it, it looks it looks just like the regular client um, there's probably a couple of things that are a little different I know when I deployed the VHD task sequence the imaging process was I mean really fast it was like twice as fast as deploying the regular image but then again I'm, I'm doing everything on a virtual machine environment so again it looks like more basic common things like the regular one uh, I think the only difference is uh, it splits the partition into two so I'm gonna show you guys what really happened uh, so this is my BJ VHD image uh, you know I created a virtual machine of 15 gigs so I'm gonna show you guys my settings I created a virtual machine again with 15 gigs and I pixie boot my virtual machine into my network and I got into my WDS and I deployed this task sequence okay once I deployed the task sequence again it was really fast deploying the VHD so I was really surprised once that's completed uh, I can show you go to computer and let's go to manage and within manage, I'm going to make this snap over here and go to disk management. Bring it up a little bit. And as you can see, the C drive is called VHD store. And it's a blue icon, which is really weird. Plus, you got a D drive, which is the OSD drive. Now, if I go, if I show you guys on the computer side, the D drive is actually a folder that MDT 2012 creates called VHD and inside it is actually VHD folder so again I haven't really played as much of this but I'm assuming if you take this VHD file and you go to hyper V you could probably import it and you, you automatically have a Windows 7 machine which is pretty cool um, the C drive is the same basic um, folder sculpture that you will normally see on a Windows 7 so it's nothing different there the only difference is you have a C drive and D drive 
So most likely, in my opinion, you probably won't have a corrupt hard drive because again, you have the D drive with the VHD, and you could probably bring it up fast. But hey, I don't know. I probably might have to play a little bit more with this, create a Hyper-V machine, and see if I could import that VHD file and see if it goes up and running. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Please, uh, at the very bottom of this video, there are uh, there is a comment section. Please leave some comments. And let me know what you think about this video. Also, if you have used this in your environment, uh, hey, I would like to get some feedback. Again, uh, I'm really new into this section of the MDT 2012. And as well, if you enjoy the video, give me some thumbs up. And at the very top, there's a subscribe button. Please click on that if you guys do enjoy the videos. As well as you want to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software. And i catch you guys later. Thank you. Subscribe! Thank you.